Hey guys, this is Alex again. Uh, today I'm introducing the headquarters building to you. Uh, there's a lot of great things near here that I'm going to take you around and show you. So, let's go. Okay guys, here I am again uh, in People's Square. Here is the headquarters building that we were just looking at. I want you guys to see it from this angle. Here is also the Capital Land Building. This is right above Raffles City, which is basically the middle of Shanghai. If you move a little bit further over, the low building here is the Urban Planning Museum. You can start to see the architecture get a little bit more wacky. Move over to the Shermao Building. It has two really big uh, peaks on top of it. It's also a Nanjing Road, so there's a lot of shopping around there. Here, you're moving to a, it's a government building, so not a lot right there. But if you move right next to that, it's the JW Marriott Building called the Gandalf Tower because it looks like it's from Lord of the Rings. You move a little bit further over, it's the Shanghai Opera House. It's a big theater, they have a lot of things going on in there. Um, this side of People's Square is a little bit less developed than the other side. Uh, it's further away from the subway station, you can see the buildings also get a little bit lower in quality. Keep moving this way, you can see Sheen TND all the way over there. Uh, the combed buildings behind the blue shiny ones. That's one of the nicest parts of Shanghai if you're looking to buy residential property. Keep moving this way, you're looking at the Shanghai Museum, it's got five or six thousand years of history in there. They used to have a lot of cool things in there like uh, knives for money a couple thousand years ago. Keep moving this way, uh, that little peak right there used to be one of the biggest clubs in Shanghai in the 1930s. Right now it's next to two highways, it's really good for uh, transportation also. Keep moving back around and you're back at the headquarters building over here. Okay, uh, I'd like to take you over by the headquarters building right now too. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, uh, it's Alex, Joe Zion, back here at the headquarters building. What I wanted to do is introduce some of the restaurants you'd be eating at if you're working here, okay? So if you look right over here, we have Bifeng Tang, we have 789, we have Babella's, and Wang Xiang Yuan, okay? Uh, we'll start with Bifeng Tang. Bifeng Tang is a chain restaurant that's Chinese. Uh, it's about 7 or $8 per person. Their chain restaurants are usually open up really late at night. This one, however, closes at 10. If you go to the one right above that 789, it's a Chinese hot pot. It's kind of like a fondue. You get really thin sliced meat and vegetables. You put it into a bowl until it boils. And then afterwards, you pull it out and you eat it. And you put in some sauce, too. Uh, you're looking at a longer eating time if you go there. Maybe about an hour plus. Because it's such thin sliced pieces of meat and vegetables. If you go to the one above that, Babella's, it's a casual Italian dining. So you're looking at maybe 3 or $4 per person to eat. Pizza, spaghetti, chicken wings, uh, different Western food. I wouldn't say the quality is that good though. Uh, if you go one more above that, you're looking at Wang Shang Yuan. Uh, Wang Shang Yuan is a, a Chinese traditional, you're looking at dishes, no really big specialties. It's Sichuan food, so it's kind of spicy. Um, and again, probably about 40 minutes to eat there and about six, seven, eight dollars per person. What I want to do next is show you the contrast between right here on this busy street and if we go back behind the building and how it's totally different. Okay? Let's go check it out. Hey guys, uh, Alex again directly behind the headquarters building. I wanted to show you the contrast between the restaurants on that side and the restaurants on this side. Okay? Uh, here we have some Chinese chow mein. It's fried noodles with soy sauce. It's seven RMB each, so about one US dollar. Uh, next we have some fried rice here. This is a nine RMB. It's about a dollar and a half. And it's just fried rice. Uh, if we go a little bit further, this is actually pretty cool. It's a Shanghai specialty. They take soup and they put it uh, with, with pork in a dumpling and then they fry it like this in a big pan. And they put spices and sesame seed on top of it. So each one of these is about one RMB or about 15 cents. So you can see where the people on this side will be eating completely different than the people on that side. Okay, uh, let's head down the street a little bit more. Hey guys, this is Alex in Raffle City. I wanted to show you this place because it's uh, situated above People's Square subway station where two million people pass through every day. It's also about two or three minutes walk from the headquarters building down the street. Uh, if you go to the top story of Raffle City, they have a physical gym which has a full-size pool which is very difficult to find in China. Uh, the Chinese usually don't swim there during the winter months either, so if you're a swimmer, it's good news. Um, also, they have a full set of cardio, they have uh, treadmills and ellipticals. They also have a full set of weights, so you can get a very good workout in this building. Uh, if you go from here to the Food Republic uh, on the sixth story, it's like a Chinese food court, lots of different kinds of Chinese food. Also, they have some Hong Kong restaurants over here. Uh, the next five stories going down are all shopping. If you go one beneath that, you also have a lot of different kinds of Western food. You have Subway, Carl's Jr., Papa John's, as well as some other Chinese restaurants. Uh, they even have some barbecue that you can choose from. 